Last week we talked about bubble sorting, and I mentioned that there was a native JavaScript method for arrays that was more efficient and easier to use. Can you guess what this week's tutorial covers? You probably can since it's in the title, but yeah. Array.sort is a great little method. Let's take a look at how it works. By default, Array.sort can handle sorting alphabetically and numerically. Let's sort a list of Silver Sun Pickups albums. If you don't like Silver Sun Pickups, you can feel free to substitute with albums from your favorite band or singer. Cardi B, Grimes, Party Cannon, it's up to you. Now let's sort them. The code is simple. Save that and refresh. And we have an alphabetized list. Note that this is a destructive method and that it actually rearranges the data in your array. If you want to maintain data integrity, you should clone the array. There are at least six ways to do that. Without worrying about speed, the easiest one is this. If you need a refresher on how the spread operator works, check out JS Quick Hits 8, the spread operator. Anyway, Array.Sort also works with numbers without needing any custom sorting code. Here's an example. Let's get rid of this. Save that and refresh. And we get our numbers correctly sorted. You can also write your own sorting algorithms. The array will run the algorithm each time it compares two values, sort of like how a bubble sort works. You return negative 1 to indicate that the first value should be closer to the beginning of the array, or 1 to indicate the opposite. If the values are identical, you return 0. Here's a function that we can use to sort an array by reverse alphabetical values. Check out JavaScript's less than and greater than feature doing a whole bunch of heavy lifting there. Did you know you could compare strings like that? Well, now you do. Let's pass our function into array.sort like this. Save it. Refresh. And there is our reversed alphabetized list of albums. So that's cool, but it's also really useful. It means we can do things like sorting an array full of objects based on a specific property in the objects. Here's some data. And here's a quick regular alphabetical sort function. I've pared it down from the one above to keep it short, but it does the same thing, just non-reversed. Note that we're accessing the job property here. We could get complex and allow the user to define which property to sort by using an additional function parameter, but let's keep it simple. Here's how we use our function to sort our array of objects. Save that. Refresh. Take a look at our objects. Sweet. You can use custom sort functions for all kinds of stuff, and they can get as complex as you need them to be to properly manage your data. Next time you need to sort an array, before you write your own algorithm, consider array.sort instead. See you next week.